Oops. Oh. Hey there. Oh, we are recording right now. Hi, Amir. Hello. Thank you so much, Sociology, for spearheading this one. Always a pleasure. Yes. Um, today we have two of the brightest queens that I know. <laughs> yes. International. We have the 48th Miss International Alejandra here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And also the 58th Miss International down below me, Mariam. <laughs> we just wake up. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. So um, today, of course, um, since we are now in a situation we're in, it is really very difficult to predict what is going to happen the next few weeks, months, or even years. So we are just trying to make people entertained and know exactly what is going on with the Miss International Beauty Pageant. But before we do that, we are... Um, Amir is here to actually like ask us questions about our pageant, the Miss International Beauty Pageant. Yes. <laughs> um, how it has affected your lives, you know, two of you. And um, it's good because you are like from t t 10 years apart, although the age is not 10 years apart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> For that. And uh, <laughs> both of you met, already met in Hokkaido last year so. Yeah, this is going to be like some sort of a reunion as well. So Amir from Misosology, shoot, ask questions. I'll just listen. Oh, really? You can also ask. Uh, I'll, I'll try to answer if I could. If I'm, you could have okay. Answer, you know, the How are you girls? Are very good resource people. How are you girls? What keeps you busy now these days? Well, um, me actually, um, I'm experiencing such a such a good moment because, you know, like at first, like sometimes, like I was a little bit, you know, like stressed or, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Like, where and how all the situation is going to be? But now I'm in certain point where I'm like I'm studying, I'm reading, I'm practicing more yoga, I'm starting a new project. So, for me, actually, I, I think I start seeing a a good positive, you know, <laughs> picture. Bye, <of> bye. <laughs> exactly what we need now, positive. Wow, nice to know that. How about you, Miriam? Well, uh, I'm really great. Um, after last year where I had a very busy schedule with Miss International, <laughs> I didn't have it, so much time to, to enjoy my home, my, my people, my my... And even myself, you know, like I was more on a plane than <laughs> at home or or finding some time to do other stuff that I just left uh, aside because of Miss International, like um, yoga, um, studying. But I, I, I actually, in that time, I was... Uh, I was doing the both things, being Miss International and also uh, continuing with my study. And uh, so this time, even though I know it's very difficult, I, I, the first the first days I was like, oh my God, I need to clean this, I need to clean that, I need to... <laughs> I was so stressed with the whole situation. And after maybe one week or two, the, the, the first two weeks of... Uh, quarantine, I started to relax more, to do more exercise, to find other things to do at home, like maybe um, meditation, um, cooking, which I didn't know I could do. Oh, <laughs> and, what do you cook? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> what did you cook? Well, I think cooking... Um, like banana bread, I think everyone is doing that. <laughs> and, and apple pie also, uh, a healthy apple pie recipe I found. By the way, what's in the situation in Venezuela? Can you guys go out of your house at a certain period of time, just like what is going on in some countries where you only have like one hour or two hours of, okay, you can go shopping, but what's the situation there? I mean, in Spain, okay. at least somehow I know because it's in the news, but information from Venezuela is so really Not hard. so much. Yeah, well, um, 
the first i think venezuela is one of the countries that started the quarantine very very soon that's why we have we control the the number of comfort, confirmation cases of coronavirus um i think there's political reasons also but but the thing is that they could they, they made it the the government um controlled in, in a certain way the the cases and so bad actually but but the first the first month i think um after the first the first month people started to go out, go out more um I, actually i went out yesterday to do some grocery shopping and yes there's a lot of more um people in, in the streets uh, or maybe i i've in the street um, just in front of my my house I, i see always like people walking or but it was all after the first month uh -huh. i know in other countries it's not the same but maybe it's a good um, situation you know when when you see that people uh, right. start to recover their their usual life maybe yeah. you yeah. know I just came back to the Miss, Miss, sorry, Miss International Miss Parry office yesterday in Ginza, uh -huh. and it's empty. You know, I posted it on my Instagram, and maybe you saw it. It's like empty. Yes, yes. And that's how about that's so hard to sorry. see. You never see Ginza without people. <laughs> I know. Yeah, there's always people, even early in the morning, but not that much people. Even at nighttime, after I finish work, went out. It's like oh, nobody. I'm just also ask uh, Alejandro because in Spain, it's one of the most affected country, right? I mean, among the countries in Europe. So what's the yeah. current situation now in Spain? Well, actually, right now uh, we are like getting better. Let's say, like, um, of course, we also we still have like so many people that has the coronavirus, but and so many people that died. But actually, like um, right now, we are like controlling the situation, and uh, now we are having like these different like um, we have like different phases. And for example, like we are in number zero, and we are going to one, two, three, four, you know, until we get like the new uh, our new life. <laughs> That's more or less how we call it. <laughs> But it depends norm. on which provinces. Sorry. The new norm. Yeah, exactly. And it depends on the province that uh, you live. Um, you have different types of, uh, of things you have to follow. Like, for example, right now, it depends on, uh, for example, for me, that I'm 30, um, I can go from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, to go for a walk or to go running or do some sports. Mm -hmm. And then until 8 p.m., from 8 to 11 p.m., I can do the same thing. During the rest of the day, if I have to go to the supermarket or to the pharmacy or things like that, um, I can go out. But just like, you know, like go to the supermarket or go to the grocery shop and then come back. It's true that I'm so lucky that um, I'm passionate about animals and I love dogs that uh, since I have my dog, Lola. I can walk, yeah, Lolita, I can walk her out. <laughs> yeah. So I can go out a little bit more, you know, but... Um, But yeah, I mean, it's quite tough. Yeah. Yeah. You know, girls, you still look so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, you, how could you look so beautiful under quarantine, you know? Yeah, under pressure. <laughs> you know. Well, you know, I have to say something, you know, it's like in the past two months, maybe this is my second time that I get like a little bit of makeup done. I didn't even know. <laughs> Did you remember <laughs> how to do it? <laughs> this is not my normal, a normal day. On the quarantine days. <laughs> are you in like, Mariam? Hey, Mariam, let me ask Mariam. Are you doing online courses right now in your university, or you are? Yes. Well, I just started this week okay. on Monday, okay. and it's really I don't know if it's for you guys if you tried it before, but it's really difficult for me because it's not the same when you have the interaction with your teacher on, on class, like in the classroom, mm. but online, I just get like bored and then I forget to, to study, but well, I have to do my effort. So 
I really want to graduate soon. <laughs> yeah, sorry for holding you for one year because of that one. <laughs> no, no. I, well, it was the best year of my life, so I, it's there's not a problem. Okay, now Amir, question. Shoot your questions. Yeah, like, I just want to questions. Yeah. Okay, I just want to ask them what advice you want to say to all of those, uh, you know, who stay at home. Advice. All those. Advice. Sorry? Advice. For those who stay at home. Yes. Who stay home. Advice on how to stay beautiful or what? <laughs> <laughs> Word of advice for those who are now staying at home. Well, for me, I think that um, really I know it's hard, but try to be as positive as, as possible. And actually, like, I know, like, so many of my friends that they actually discover, like, new abilities that they didn't know they could do. Like, for example, Mariam, like, she started, you know, like, cooking and she's so happy about it. Other, no, I mean, I think that that's so positive. I mean, for example, other people, all of my friends start, like, painting or they are musicians and they start like playing, you know, or creating songs. Me, for example, I've been like um, reading and studying things that I always wanted to do. For example, I'm reading um, this book that is called Yoga Sutras from Patanjali. It's about yoga and the mind and everything. And it's so interesting. And, you know, I'm giving wow. also to myself to get more indeed in my meditation because I really love to meditate, but sometimes I can't really like do all the things that I wanted to do. And now it's kind of like um, a, a retreat, you know? Uh, me, for example, I try at least to go once a year to a yoga meditation retreat. And this year is like, oh my God, you know, just like life gave me <laughs> a really long retreat. So let's go and- Long <laughs> yoga retreat for you now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's try to, to do other things and give time to ourselves and to our family. Okay. Okay. Um, for me, it would be to stay positive because um, sometimes when you, and also don't forget that you have to do what what you know you can do because sometimes uh, when we see on social media or like people is always doing stuff and you think you have to do it and if you if you don't you won't I don't know. Feel Social media push you so hard, you know, True. like. I agree, I agree. I agree with that one, yeah. And sometimes yeah. you have to keep it calm and go on your rhythm. Just do the things that you, you can do and don't push yourself so hard. Um, for me, I just, the first days I, I, I was so um, stressed and, and what I've, and I think I found, in a thing that I found like more, I got more calm doing the things I love. Like I started to, uh, po a podcast on Spotify for kids on Spanish, of course, <laughs> but an storytelling podcast. And so I, all, I only have two, two books, audio books right now two podcasts but I did that and even if you if you can't do anything just don't worry um, do the things that you I don't know how to say like just go on your rhythm you know that's what I advise people um, because, because that's exactly who you are Mariam even during the 2018 Miss International pageant period you were never so you you have your own rhythm yeah <laughs> <laughs> you were not pressured at all I mean like well actually we were discussing about that one during the quarantine because we were trying to discuss about uh, okay the attitude of the girls blah 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 this and that you know how is she how is this one I think you know that because that's a very important aspect in judging the the, the, the contestants during the Miss International Beauty Pageant because they are being graded based on their attitude. So whenever we discuss, okay, what about Miss Venezuela? Oh, Miss Venezuela, she has her own world. <laughs> Very quiet. <laughs> Very quiet. And yeah, you were quiet, actually. Yes. And okay, before yes, before I go to the Miss International moments, I just want to ask from you girls a uh, message to all the frontliners. The frontliners, the medical personnel, that's yes. what I mean, right? Do you have any message to all the frontliners? 
Well, I mean, um, practically, like most of my family, they are doctors. So I, oh. I don't really know how the situation is. And, and, you know, I have it very close. So, of course, like all these strengths, they've been, I mean, they are really working so hard. And, you know, they are always with that smile and that energy. I mean, even like, um, actually, even like my father, he had to be at the hospital. Uh, so it's been really tough moment for me too in my family. And um, he told me that one of uh, the doctors, like she used to sing him a song while like um, she was telling him what to do and stuff like that, you know? So I really, really know that there are like so many good professionals there that the, apart from doing, you know, their actual, their actual job or what they have to do, they even like they encourage all those people and sing or even they dance or, and you know that's that's so important. Like, like I, it's like a really really big like fence for all of them. Oh. Yeah, and the doc, the medical, the, all the doctors here in Venezuela deserve an award for me, because the situation, the health situation, it was very, it is very hard since two years or maybe more. Like. Um, Venezuela is facing a very difficult moment when we talk about health care and imagine we are not a country Venezuela is not a country that was prepared to um, to face a problem uh, this kind of situation um, so um, they just they really deserve an award after all this is just passed because they they were doing what they could with what they have and it was not so much and now imagine oof it's like it's very it's more hard for them so i really admire the people the the medic the, the doctors that is so uh, stayed here because um they they are helping our people so yeah M most of the okay. Just to keep, just to put you on track, <laughs> the doctors left. Most of the doctors and um, healthcare uh, staff, I don't know how to call it, workers, had, yeah. yeah, they they had to leave the country because of the reasons uh, um, you most know. And I really appreciate. The, the effort that the doctors that have stayed here are doing right now, even though it's very difficult. Okay. It's a very complicated situation in Venezuela. Yeah. You know, this I mean, yeah. We need a whole day to discuss just the situation in Venezuela. Yeah. <laughs> it's very hard for me to explain. Even, okay, imagine if it's hard to explain it on Spanish, how hard it is to explain it on, on English, you know? <laughs> Any more question, Amir? Yeah, okay. Uh, by the way, Alejandra, my hugs and kisses to your parents. Thank you. Um, now let's go now to the Miss International. <laughs> I, hope, okay. I hope Zoom is not going to cut us out, you know, because last time they gave us bonus few minutes, but let's see. Because we, just, okay. we only have, I think we only have like 10 minutes. So that's, uh, if they give us a bonus more minutes, then that's fine. But maybe they get, they're just going to cut us in, three, in 10 minutes. Shoot. Okay. Here. Girls, tell us more about your experience during the pageant and your most unforgettable moment during the rain. Um, Who starts? Alejandra, okay, me? she has right. more experience than me. Well, I mean, um, seriously, for me, I, I don't even know how to, I get so excited, like just like to think about all those moments. Um, for me, uh, Miss International has changed my life, like completely. Um, my, and not just like talking about like um, in a professional way, I mean, for me, the experience to to go to Japan, uh, to to been 
to all of those places with you know all the people that organize it all the people that i've met i mean my mind just like whoosh, you know expand um my point of view how I mean, the person that I am right now, it's because of all the experience that I that I get during all of these years. And I feel so honored, like very honored because I've been in touch with the organization for all of those years. <laughs> There's so many years, you know, from 2008. <laughs> <laughs> and that, really, I, I feel so honored because for me, I, I it's not that I won you know that crown i feel really that i'm in in that family and that's um that's something um i don't know i don't even know how to express it right it's something so strong um i feel so honored about it and um even you know when i got the opportunity uh, to be there also in 2013 i mean that was like phew, incredible because when you leave it for the first time it's so great but when you get back home and you like stop it and you realize all that you lived. And sometimes you say like, oh God, you know, I, I wish I could be like more living the present in this moment or in another moment because you were like so nervous that you can actually like feel everything. But when me that I had the chance to, you know, have it again, it was nice. even yeah. stronger. I mean, when I give the crown to, um, to Vera oh. Rose, oh my God, I was, I was crying more than hair. <laughs> I mean, I was so excited because actually for me, like she was, she was the best and I really love her. And for me, giving the crown to her, I don't know, when I, when I gave it to Ana Gabriela, of course it was so special, but I was so nervous. You know, it was, you know, that time you have like so many feelings, like you're happy, but you're sad because your year is ending. There's yeah. so many emotions. Did but you then, see that I put the crown on being backwards? Like I, I was so nervous that I was like, what am I doing? And all the girls like, hey, the crown is reversed. You know, I was like, okay, okay. No, it happens, it happens. <laughs> Continue, Ali. No, no, I mean, it's, it's just that it, it's, it's so special. And of course, like when I won, I was just like 18. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I was the youngest, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so even though that I think that I'm quite mature. I've always been mature for the for the age that I that I have. You know, like if you are 18, like when you face all of those moments, I mean, they they really like. Um, I don't know how to say. Um, um, they they make you change your life. Really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I even say it. I was like. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Very, 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 <laughs> know what to do, you know, at that age, because <laughs> some some of you are just like entering university and uh, or what exact what career do you really want to do? But suddenly you have a crown in your head, and right, it's like it's, your perspective change. Yeah. That's right. Well, it happened. It happened to me. <laughs> Thanks to Miss International, um, I decided what I wanted to be. Because you, I was so young, I was only 18 as, as well as, as Alejandra. And you don't really know what you want to do for the rest of your life. And that is a really big decision, you know? And when I had to choose, I was not sure. And after visiting Japan, after knowing that the world is more I mean, like breaking your frontiers, like um, knowing that you are part of a world, not a con not only a country, not only a city, that you can live other things, that you can experience other cultures. I I could leave those moments and decide what I wanted to be, what is my dream career, or what is. The, the thing that I want to study. And that is how I make the decision to start studying liberal arts. Liberal arts. Because so you were engineering at the very beginning, right? Yeah, I was, I was studying engineering. And after winning Miss International, you have one week to visit um, the ministry, the foreign, uh, foreign, what? 
<laughs> the Ministry, foreign minister of Japan. Foreign, foreign minister, the education minister, mm. the um, and you have all the experience. You are only 18 years old, and you don't. Well, I was 19 then, but <laughs> it's the same. I was only 19 years old. What I was going to talk about with those ministers, you know? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. What 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 can a 19 year old girl can do? And how can you start a conversation with someone that has so many degrees and on everything or has so many experience and it's in that point of their life like they're part of something big. And um, after experience those moments, I decided yes, this is what I wanted what I wanted to do. So now you're um, doing liberal arts. Yeah, liberal arts, it's, uh, it's one of the most, uh, old, it's the oldest, maybe it's the oldest career. It has started with the Greeks <laughs> and uh, there's seven liberal arts. And now many of the most important universities have the, this career. And all experience, and all experience, it makes you feel part of a different family, not your family, but you're part of something and, and they recognize your, your talent and they support you. And all the year I lived is, it was, I just, I just can't even express how, how happy am I or how proud of myself. You, you have to be like, I, I'm proud of myself because I knew people from all the world, and I have con and I have I can say I have friends on on Indonesia, on Japan, on and many other countries, Myanmar, Vietnam, the ones that I visited with Miss International, and it makes you feel um, on a certain way fulfilled, you know, like. I don't know. It's it's hard I, to explain. Really. Yeah, it's so hard to explain. You, you are. Yeah. When I remember the days when I was to when I was about to pass the crown, it was the most amazing days I lived in in Japan. And when you experience the the Japan, Japanese culture from another press perspective, like when you are just not a delegate and you don't have the old the nervous um, all the, the kind of thing you know you feel more relaxed and you start to to understand more or to enjoy more the japanese culture and that really changed my life the japanese culture actually um it changed my life so much that I think that when I have to design my home or or to decorate my home, I'm gonna do some Japanese, Japanese touch, you know? And the things that I, I'm really, I really like design. <laughs> this is just a fact, okay? Uh, and when I was there, I, I, I told my chaperone to visit, um, like the design stores or, and I started to read, I went to a library and I started to read about the, the Japanese design, even about the book. So the thing is that Miss International changed your life completely. And the fact that you are just a young, a young girl that wins a beauty pageant, which is, you know, sometimes it could, it could sound like easy, but it's not. Mm. It's life changing, you know. It it makes you grow in so many ways. In your situation, Marianne, because you were already studying engineering bef when you bef before you joined Miss International. In the case of Alejandra, she was just a fresh high school graduate, but during the time, mm. you were like. But I imagine Alejandra. Knew Alejandra, what you were like. <laughs> just graduated from high school if i'm not mistaken uh, actually actually when um when I, because i just start university because you know like um i just start university in september uh -huh. um but it's true that um actually i was going to be a dentist 
uh, because uh, my father is a dentist. So I was I was thinking of, of doing that because I always loved like um, um, also that part of science and health. Uh, but I w when I went to Miss Spain contest and I start like you know to to get to know more like what it's to be on stage or talking to people, talking to press, um, you know, all that PR. And I was like, oh my God, I love communication. <laughs> I like that, you know, when, when I'm on stage with a microphone, I actually enjoy it, you know, because for other people it's just like, oh my God, a microphone on stage, you know, but for me it was like, whoa, 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 I love that. <laughs> so actually like, um, the beauty pageant and all of that like um is also more or less like um what marion said right like like guide me on what i i want to do and um when i mean when you actually realize that um the beauty pageant is not just a beauty pageant because um i know that in other countries it's not like that but seriously in spain like i hate that like when you say to someone that actually i had to say I had to not say sorry that I was Miss International to actually got the chance to do certain castings. Mm. Because here, if you say that you are a Miss, sometimes like people don't, don't like it. Why? Because, oh. Why? Because they, because they don't know what an actually a uh, beauty pageant represents. They just think that, oh, whatever, you know, she just like, she, did, she, did, she didn't know what to do with her life. So I mean, she just went there. You know, like so many people just think about that. Or she's like, okay, she's beautiful. She doesn't know what else to do. Uh, so she just got a chance on that. He's like, no, excuse me, you know, I have a hacker career, I have an education. I can talk different languages. I have my manners. I know like um, how to be, as she said, you know, with a minister or to, to go and visit certain people. Uh, I've, I was so honored, like in my year, I, I got the chance to have a meeting. Um, yeah, in, in UNICEF there in Japan and actually they asked me like what would you like to do what are your thoughts about you know like you can change certain things of course like we are not you know we have to to know that but you can change certain things and if you can change little by little you you can make something better and it's not just like that beauty face you know I always like fight for that and I always try to 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 communicate that to other people. I think until that, that uh, struggle is, there's so many more. Europe still has that struggle in stigma, a negative stigma against beauty pageant, not just Spain, basically. Um, in many, like if, I'm not sure. Other if, Europe countries, uh, yes. Bianca, like uh, Miss Romania during your year, Mariam, she also shared mm -hmm. to me about the thing, the, the negative perception about beauty pageant in her country or in at least in her region so europe still has although europeans were the ones who, were, who dominated the beauty pageant industry in the early years but now it has changed and in europe it's really a struggle even getting sponsors is also a struggle in europe yes, it is. but know. it's great uh, well I, I really i admire the, the fact that they put those comments aside and decided to join a beauty pageant. And actually, yes, it changed, it changed your life. And it's nice that they had the opportunity to, to don't listen to those comments and make the difference, you know? And <clears throat> another thing, I don't know if it happened to you, Alejandra, but when I remember those days, I sometimes I, I wish I was, um more mature or that i could speak better english or or i had my degree finished to you know um make the best of it but some but at the same time i remember and say you did what you could do like you did your best you always try to do your best don't, don't push yourself so hard i don't know i, I don't know if it happened to you but <laughs> when I remember, well, yeah. I mean, of course, I understand you because, um, um, yeah, because sometimes you say like, oh, my God, like I could have done it better or maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah I completely understand. But, um, you know, like maybe I mean, now that you said that, I thought about two things. One, I thought like, OK, as you said, like um, 
we did the best we could and actually we did the best we could and some people liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> again. I just loved it. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I don't know. Um I don't know, maybe this is going to be controversial. I'm not sure if what I'm gonna say is going to start that, but um, maybe it would be good to try to extend a little bit the life of a Miss Candidate. So actually, because through more years that we might have, we can be more prepared. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about that? But sure, yeah. You know that, um, also, it's so difficult for the judges to find a candidate. When you think about it, how do you know if she's going to be intelligent enough, if she's going to be kind enough, if she's going to be nice enough to, to, to have the crown on her head? And I experienced that last year when I was a judge. And I discovered that there's something about human beings actually that you can feel without even speaking the same language or or being from the same culture you can feel when someone is kind when someone is is humble when someone is um a good person <laughs> or intelligent you can without yeah. even you can feel it yeah, yeah i'm totally agree you know and and that is what i think miss international has done all these years they find i don't know how the right <laughs> candidate <laughs> the right <It's> secret <laughs> yeah. I am, I am. You know, they, they find it they find the right the right girl <laughs> So uh, I have a question for Mariam. Um, how okay. true, yeah, how true in Venezuela, when you are a beauty queen and you win an international title, you are free from payment of taxes. Is this true? Is it Colombia? I think. I think that one is Colombia. What? You you, you are when what? you win a, when you are a beauty queen in Venezuela, you win an inter, you won an international title abroad. Um, they said, they said that uh, beauty queens or winners are free from taxes in Venezuela. How true? Paying taxes? Yeah. I heard about it. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but actually... Okay. <laughs> I only know there was one time it happened with the winner of Miss Universe in Colombia. She was actually exempted to pay taxes yeah. all throughout her life. But I don't know. I heard it. about it. Really? Yeah, like the 1960 something winner from 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 Colombia when she won the Miss Universe title, she was tax exempt for life. Wow. Yeah, I heard about it. I don't know, but I've never no, heard. No, that's not in Spain, well, though. Be, <laughs> no. There would be a lot of Venezuelans tax exempt when it happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So many winners. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I was just curious. I was just curious if how true it was. Anyway, so, so girl, yeah, you come I back just want to know. know. After you, you yes. win a crown in Venezuela, well, being Venezuelan, you come back and you feel like you're a star. But, oh, okay. you know, when I, <laughs> when, but when I was like, when I, when I came back, I was, I'm always like a person who doesn't like the public attention so much yeah, you know? that's her that's exactly so, her i could i could, I could yeah. vouch her on that one and i recognize it and i like it I, I i'm not like that kind of person i don't want to have the spotlight always on my face you know but um i was not like that i was not controversial and i don't like controversial things i, I just like that my talent is that people focus on my talent or, or they find <laughs> you know they they recognize what i what i want to be recognized as you know um and yes so i was not that kind of controversial in venezuela i was not too famous in venezuela when i came back because of that and i i'm okay with that <laughs> <laughs> okay now girls i want to know 
who are your best friends during your pageant, during your you know competition? Who are your best friends? And do you have still communication with them? With them? Ale, it's your turn. Me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm still in contact with uh, with them. Um, me was um, more, of course, like you know, with the Latins, because even always, I think, even though that Spain um, it's in Europe. Um, you know, that Latin thing needs also, I think, in Spanish veins. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> There's a group together with uh, Spanish-speaking people. Um, but of course, like, um, it was like uh, Puerto Rico, Argentina, uh, of course, like, um, actually with, with uh, Venezuela, um, you know, there was like, a she, she helped me in certain things, but in other things, it was a little bit tense um but of course I, I i i keep in touch with them and actually i see that most of the girls that now they they got married or they have kids and uh, we still in touch or they have like their like careers on television or on radio or still modeling um i don't know like for me it's it's it, that's really nice you know like through all of these years that we can still like be in touch and, and actually since also I had the opportunity also like in 2013 and in other years that I've been living in, in China so what for me was easy to jump to Japan to be a judge um, I have even like more more friends from all over the world because of all of these different years and uh, I think that's that that's amazing to uh, because me I always have been so curious I always love to travel and meet new people. And um, like for me, like if I, let's say, right, if I would have to choose to have a friend from my country or from another country, I'll definitely choose the person from the other country. Me because too. I'm going to learn a lot, <laughs> you, you know? Learn a lot. And I actually hear everything. Yeah, I, I agree so much with you. And I discovered that, I don't know if it happened to you, but I really discovered I love to travel and try it and visit new cultures thanks to Miss International. Of course. <laughs> yes. Yep. And best friend Marianne. I my know. best friend. Yeah. Me Mexico <laughs> and Spain. Oh, Mexico and Spain. The three of us ECC always. CC and Nevi, you know, the three of them. Yeah. You know, the accent. But also, I made other friends like Ecuador, um, Costa Rica, um, and we we really had a real strong relationship more of course, the latin latino countries but um yeah uh, we had a, we we were a really nice group we're still in touch we have we are still in the same whatsapp group so we sometimes like check on each other and we are only oh also Rambe, Rambe, South Africa. I forgot it to say to, to tell to to say her. Um we are like twin soul twins, like twin souls, don't soul sisters, I don't know. <laughs> soul sister, like oh, soul yeah. sister, yeah. Um and she's so funny. I really that's that's something I'm so proud of. Like making friends make from other countries and recognize it. You may, you might have a soul sister from South Africa or from Spain or from Mexico. That's that's nice. Nebai is getting married, right? Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> when are you getting married, I, girl? I, 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 I ask Alejandra. <laughs> what? When are you getting married? <laughs> Yeah, that's married? what I'm asking too. <laughs> you know, what's going on with me? <laughs> but you girls have boyfriends. Oh my god! Boyfriend right now. Uh, I do. do. You have boyfriend? The Sorry. Same, the same. My boyfriend is the same that went to. Oh. Visit her. Same yeah. guy who helped us carry her to the to her room because she almost yeah. fit in with her 19 kilogram eating <laughs> gown. <laughs> very, 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 nice very, very nice guy, Mariam. Actually, she he's is a keeper. A nice guy. <laughs> a, a How about Alejandra? Well, me actually, I'm starting a new relationship. 
She started a new relationship, but she, they're now in quarantine, right? <laughs> You're blushing, Alejandra. I know. Ooh. You know, I talk too much. I'm, I'm quite shy. <laughs> oh, is he from Madrid? Um, no, no, I mean, he, he lives in Madrid, but he's from the south. Okay. That's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. I, I wanted to ask you, Alejandra, something. I, yeah, tell me. Um, when you were when you were in, in China and I you said you went a lot to Japan. Did you make other friends like not only the Miss International um, related uh, like Stefan, for example? <laughs> um, did you make other friends? Yes, but it's true that, um, you know, like actually like most of my friends were related with, uh, even with the yeah. organization or maybe just like people that uh, they, they loved that beauty pageant and they were actually like trying to help out there. Um, but yeah, mo most of my friends, they, they come from, from, that's why when I say that, I feel that um, it's my family, it's, it's true. I mean, um, that, that's how I really feel it. Actually, um, you know, one of my chaperones, um, you know, in 2008, uh, Mizuho, I'm still in contact with her uh, all the wow. time also that, that I go to, to Japan. I always like try to meet her. I mean, really like... Wow, that's nice of you. She doesn't, she doesn't do chaperone right now. But oh, she, no, no, right? Yeah, she, I think she, she stopped in 2000, I don't know, 12, I think. But I mean, I don't know, I, what I feel that uh, all the people that I met, uh, I don't know if it's just is the people that related with Miss International or it's because of more like their culture. But, um, you know, even though all of these years has passed, I, I feel the same, you know, good vibe and the same love. So I don't know, it's so special. That's a good yeah. thing about Miss International because they, it gives the girls the freedom, more freedom to actually like pursue their own career, even though they are already the reigning queen, so they can still go on with their job, with their school. So they are not like so tied or, or very much like strictly um, held up by the organization. So that's the reason why they can actually explore different other things and do a lot of other stuff. They will be asked to do this and do that, but that is just within one year of their reign. So that's the reason why they have, they have uh, other avenues to grow as, as an individual. So they, you, that's the reason why they don't just end up in one particular industry, which is showbiz industry. So they, some of them just, some of them would come back into private people, you know? But it's it's still okay with us, you know? Like, Miss International does not really tell you, hey, you have to be a very famous, like, super famous supermodel or super famous actor mm -hmm. or actress in your country. No, like, you know, go on. If you want to be a housewife, be a housewife. Be happy. That's it. That's, that's wow. actually that's right. kind of the difference with being with Miss International because it's, uh, you don't even, you're not even required to stay in Japan for one year or stay in an apartment and live. But I would love to, work. we need to change that. Yeah, we go back. We want to go Do you think Miss International, do you think Miss International this year should be postponed? Should be possible, or should be because of the COVID virus thing. Yeah, uh, mm. still don't know what's gonna happen in the next two or three months. But somehow everything is uh, as we are planning to to do things according to schedule. So like we have like deadlines. Like for example, at this month we have to make sure we have to check the whole situation by June. Then we have to make sure that the to inform all of the national directors, okay, that we might postpone it into another month, and then we might postpone it to another month. But you really have to consider first and foremost the safety, the health concern of every individual. You don't want, you don't just want to push the pageant just for the sake of pushing the pageant, right? So we have to take consider the overall picture, the health 
the safety of everyone. But hopefully we'll be able to manage everything in the next two or three months and we will push a schedule. I think other pageants are doing the same thing. Yeah, I think so. Anyway, girls, you still look so beautiful. What are your oh, thank beauty you. secrets? Thank you. What are your beauty secrets? Secrets. Um, beauty secrets. My beauty secrets? Yes. I think it might be mm, eating uh, help like how do you say a balanced diet? That's <laughs> that's the thing I do. Um, and also uh, taking care of really taking serious my my health my my skincare routine. Sometimes you don't. And also, I have started to to live as to to only use like vegan products or organic products uh, after I realized that it was so many dirty. Um, products on on the beauty the most popular beauty brands you know i started to make a better decisions when i it's when it comes to buy my beauty products mm -hmm. yeah i totally agree. i choose organic mm -hmm. i choose vegan and or natural although it's not the same but and it's more expensive yeah, it's more expensive, but um, I found a really nice brand, which is not so expensive, <laughs> and I'm attached to that one. <clears throat> and yeah, also, there's yeah. sorry. No, 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 no. no, no. no. There's 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 other options. You you don't really need to buy the more the more expensive things, the most expensive things to, to good look, to look good, sorry. <laughs> um, there's other options in the market. You just have to make a, a good decision. Yeah, I mean, it's true for me. It's also, it's really important, like, um, what you eat, because of what you eat, it, what <laughs> you know how your skin's going Inside to decide will just exactly i mean um and also about um seriously this might sound as a topic but i don't think it is like if if you feel good with yourself if you love yourself sometimes we are like um you know we are frightened to say we are scared to say that you know we love ourselves there's so many people that they don't really uh, <laughs> love themselves. Understand the power. And, yeah. And uh, you sometimes, you know, when it, it's what Marion said before, right? Like about like, how can judges or people in this international organization know about a girl, you know? Because that's energy. There's some people that they bride. I mean, mm -hmm. and you say, why does she bride and I don't bride? Well, ask yourself because you have the answer. Um, eat well. Try to do exercise, do some meditation, do some research on yourself. Of course, it's important to, to use some cosmetics or some products. It's true, I, I do it. <laughs> I mean, I would be lying to all of you if I say like, no, I don't use makeup or I don't use creams. No, you know, that's not true. But <laughs> apart from that, um, also like how your life is, how you see your life, like you have to see your life with different type of glasses, you know? Because there are some people that they have their glasses to see the light, like it's so dirty. They just like see the things. And what you see and what you focus is what is going to come to you. So, yeah. I mean, all of that is so important. Of course, about like food and nutrition, I also, I, I try to eat um, as organic as possible. Actually, it's true that from the past months, I'm not eating as much meat. Um, because I want also to try different things, you know, how do I feel? I'm not saying yeah. that I shouldn't be eating meat. No, 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 no. That, that's not what I want to say. It's what I'm trying to, because for example, they put a plate of meat and if I hear my body, my body doesn't really want it. So actually that, that, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, go, you, you can say it. My no, mind. that's something I wanted to say. Um, you, I just started to, to listen more to my, to myself, to my body, what, what does he want? Um, what happens when I eat meat? What happens if I eat fish? What happens if I don't eat that? And you start 
to listen more to your body and you make better decisions and and when i was talking about like the products i was talking more about um choosing your health over um over appearance you know like um when you choose from thinking about being um like on a better uh, i don't know how to say it, and a better relation with your body you start to look better you know when you make your decisions thinking about your health you start to look better like for example um because me uh when i was like younger like when i was teenager i had like uh so like so much um acne all right Pimples. and um you know i had other friends also and other friends of mine they were they were just like putting so much makeup on and he's like all right i know it's like who likes that neck i mean of course me neither i didn't like it also but you have to sit down and to say okay why do why i'm having this don't cover it try to see okay maybe it's because i'm eating these or maybe it's because i have an hormonal like um dysfunction or whatever you know you, you have to see i mean this is like a, an example right but there's some people that just just put makeup or they just like try not to see what's going on you know no stop it try to see what's going on ask yourself sometimes so like in so many moments you are going to ask yourself and the good the answer you are going to have it you know stop it see try to focus try to to improve it and i'm sure you will make it and if not ask other people to help you out but don't try mm -hmm. to cover or things that you might not like about yourself with makeup or other stuff you know try and and that is something i i learned during the days like when when all my my moments on beauty pageants um passed um sometimes when it comes to beauty pageants you think you have to have you need to have the better clothes or the better the best outfits or the best makeup or or you need to do this or do that to be on the prototype to be the prototype of beauty pageant and and it happens more when you were speaking about venezuela <laughs> and um, maybe i was not mature enough to know that i was that i was um nice that I, I'm, i'm sorry that i was okay the way i was you know and you start to to compare yourself you start to look at yourself and say but why do they say that i have a big chin you know i'm okay the way i that's how i born you know you are um, gorgeous that's how, yeah <laughs> that's how god made me you know i'm, I'm i feel good this way you have a long face okay but does it bother you <laughs> it doesn't bother me and um <laughs> what i would change about the mariam on those days is i uh, i started to compare and now i know that every girl is beautiful no matter how your skin looks no matter how your body is you are beautiful and when you focus on the inside without all the things about the outside and what it when it comes to to, to i don't know your the look exterior beauty yeah the exterior beauty you you will be okay with yourself you will start to love yourself and you will shine brighter you know yeah Actually, so, i have oh sorry no 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 you can continue no i was going to say something funny that even though now i feel embarrassed to say this but i'm going to do it because that's how i am so <laughs> i was going to go for it okay i had no preparation at all to go to miss international uh, because um yeah i mean in spain i didn't have the support so um I didn't know how to do my makeup because I have never had classes of how to do my makeup. Actually, I went to Miss International with BB cream. I didn't have like a proper base. <laughs> like this might sound so crazy, but actually like my um, foundation brush, 
and my first foundation. I bought it in Japan in one oh. of the, the, the shops that we went well, to do. Okay, now, but you it, have... It's true. It's no one knows. Now you know. Now all but you it, people know. But it was 2008. You know, yeah. I think it was more a natural look and, and that and that. And not that, really. No, no. I had the not natural really. look. The other contestants didn't. <laughs> I, I, I always look like natural. Tell that to Alejandra. Her roommate was Miss Venezuela, you know? <laughs> she had to be I like... Imagine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Really, really. The first day... The first and day the she woke up at six, is crazy. I will always remember this. When she woke up at six to start doing her makeup and her hair. And wow. I was like, wow how many things you're doing? And she's like, I'm doing my makeup. And I'm like, wow. And she's like, what are you going to do? And I was like, um, BB cream, blush, and eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know that, so as you said, that, okay, I, I bought, I bought my, my foundation brush and I bought my foundation there. Other, other candidates helped me to, to, to teach me how to do it. But as you said, I mean, you, you don't need, of course, now I love makeup and I love to make up. And, and of course, I love all of that. But I, what I know, love is how I'm, I feel when I do my makeup. Yeah, yeah it's so, I, I love it. It's so much fun. But in the end, it's what also what you're saying. I mean, when you bright and when you love yourself and when you try to enjoy the moment and try to be the best, um, the best you, that that that's when you shine. That's mm -hmm. that's that's what people care. I think. Yeah. Wow. I think my Zoom is telling me to, to, to stop this in the next five, maybe 10 minutes. Or oh, maybe, okay. uh, before, <laughs> because they always give us the, this you morning, you know, it's going to close. So just wrap it yeah, up. Before you stop. I, don't, I, don't yeah. want, I don't want Zoom to just, to just cut us out without, without any preparation or something. So it's better to like really formalize everything by now because it, it, it's, I'm the host, so I think it only appears in the host, right? That you only have like a few minutes to go. <laughs> okay. okay. But before, before, we stop, before we stop, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I just want the girls to say any message to all, or any advice you want to share to all the Miss International contestants for this year. Or for the next any year. advice you want to share? Yeah, all those, the girls who want to become the next Miss International. I mean, don't doubt it. I mean, go for it. It's going to change your life. It's going to be the, the best experience. I mean, for Mariam, you, you also say it because I think there's no much time, but I mean, try to enjoy as, as much as possible. Try to enjoy every single moment, even though when you have yeah. to wake up or when your feet are going to start hurting, enjoy that <laughs> because really, it's, you're going to... yeah, yeah, it's very difficult to say that. To, in, to enjoy like I know you have so much pressure you're, you're very nervous but please focus on the moment we're living with all the candidates with being in Japan which is a big thing you know um, focus on that of course focus on your on your on being the best version of yourself those days but also Try to keep it balanced and to enjoy when you're doing the best of yourself. Okay. Correct. Okay, now, girls, can you say a message again to all your Mississauga fans? Message. And also, mess I think, is, is it Mother's Day to you guys tomorrow? Because it's Mother's Day tomorrow in Japan. Yeah, it's yeah. Mother Day. It's Mother's yeah. Day here. I think it oh, was last it, it week was, in Spain. Yeah, yeah, in Spain it it it, it was last week. But uh, well, happy Mother's Day <laughs> to, all, <laughs> to all the mothers, and of course, like um, always, always thank you so much for all the support. I mean, you know, I won in two thousand eight. It has been so many years, and I still can feel, you know, um, you know, the love of so many people, and that's that's amazing that that's really like so inspiring and really like so many days you know some messages just they make my day and you know that's 
that's a that's a present that's, you know that it's it's i don't know how even to say it Nate. thank you so much yeah thank you so much missology and all the missology fans because you were there for, right from the beginning you know and it feels so nice to feel recognized like someone and uh, knows that you did a great job and it's so nice even more in these days when you're at home without doing nothing <laughs> and you feel like you're unuseful you're just just doing nothing and yeah uh, you're a really big family and i am so lucky to feel part of you Wow. Alejandra, yeah. Miriam, in behalf of Missology, thank you so much. I hope to see you here in Manila. Oh, oh yeah, I would love to. <laughs> really? love to. <laughs> Invite us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. I'll just stop thank the recording. Thank you very much. I also Good just stopped the recording. Thank you. Love you all. <laughs> Bye. Love you. Yes, thank you. <laughs>